हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे वी बिगिन्स विद द क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ सेंसरी सिस्टम वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सेंसरी सिस्टम एग्जामिनेशन इन फाइव डिफरेंट पार्ट टेक्टाइल सेंसिबिलिटी जॉइंट सेंस वाइब्रेशन सेंस पेन सेंसेशन एंड टेम्परेचर सेंसेशन इन साइड द टेक्टाइल सेंसिबिलिटी वी आर गोइंग टू डू द फाइन टच क्रूड टच टेक्टाइल लोकलाइजेशन टू पॉइंट डिस्क्रिमिनेशन स्टीरियोग्नोसिस बेरोग्नोसिस एंड ग्राफेस्थिसिया इन साइड द जॉइंट सेंस वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सेंस ऑफ पोजिशन एंड एप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द मूवमेंट इन साइड द पेन सेंसेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टेस्ट द सुपरफिशियल पेन एंड प्रेसर पेन बिफोर वी बिगिन्स विद द सेंसरी सिस्टम एग्जामिनेशन वी मस्ट हैव टू नो अबाउट द डरमेटोम्स What is dermatom? A dermatom is a area of skin that is mainly supplied by upper nerve fibers from a single dorsal root of spinal nerve which forms a part of a spinal nerve. There are 8 cervical nerves, 12 thoracic nerves, 5 lumbar nerves and 5 sacral nerves. Each of these nerves relays sensation from a particular region of the skin to the brain. Symptoms that follow a dermatom may indicate a pathology that involves the related nerve root so here it is the c6 and if we are going to find any type of sensory defect in this area of the skin there must be the possibility of defect at the level of c6 that's how we are going to find out the spinal cord injury or the level of spinal cord injury so first we begins with the tactile sensibility fine touch tell subject to close his eyes and extend their arm in front of the examiner arms must be exposed that means no any type of clothes are present over the arms take a cotton and touch parts of the skin start from the distal to the proximal part of the limb according to dermatomes and tell subject to say yes when he feels the touch So this is how we have to do the fine touch examination in the tactile sensibility. Next, crude touch. Tell subject to close his eyes and extend their arms in front of the examiner. Arms must be exposed. Take a hair esthesometer or blunt end of the pane and touch parts of the skin from distal to proximal part of the limb according to the dermatomes. and tell subject to say yes when he feels the crude touch so this is how you have to check the crude touch in the tactile sensibility next tactile localization what do you mean by tactile localization it is the ability to localize a point on the surface of the body while being touched how you will do this take two pens one should be given to the subject tell subject to close his eyes and extend their arm in front of the examiners arms must be exposed while holding pen by one hand touch different parts of the skin according to the dermatomes with point end of the pen and tell subject to locate it with their pen and see whether the point is same or different So this is how you have to do the tactile localization in the tactile sensibility now two point discrimination what do you mean by two point discrimination it is the ability to discriminate two points when two points are touched at various distance How will you do this two point discrimination tell subject to close his eyes and extend their arms in front of the examiner arms must be exposed take compass esthesometer and touch subject skin by changing the distance between two points tell subject to say yes when he feels two point on the skin note the distance between the two point so this is how you have to check the two point discrimination in the tactile sensibility
now the next stereognosis ability to feel and recognize familiar object with touch sensation how will you do this stereognosis tell subject to close his eyes and extend their arms in front of the examiner give any familiar object for example pen watch pouches etc to the subject and tell them to identify it note whether subject is right or wrong this is how you have to check the stereognosis in the tactile sensibility next barognosis or it is also known as paresthesia what is barognosis or paresthesia it is the ability to evaluate weight of object by holding or lifting them how will you do this or how will you check this tell subject to close his eyes and extend their arms in front of the examiner give two objects of different weights for example pen and pouch to the subject and tell them to raise hand with heavy object or heavy weight note whether subject is right or wrong so this is how you have to check the barognosis or barresthesia in the tactile sensibility now the next graphesthesia what do you mean by graphesthesia it is the ability to recognize writing on the skin purely by touch sensation how will you do this or how will you check this tell subject to close his eyes and extend their arms in front of the examiner arms must be exposed take a blunt object for example blunt end of the pen and draw shapes or write alphabets on skin and tell them to identify the shape or alphabet note whether subject is right or wrong so this is how you will check graphesthesia in the tactile sensibility now the applied aspect of the tactile sensibility anesthesia it is the loss of all sensations dissociative anesthesia when sensations of pain and temperature is lost with preservation of the touch sensation so it is known as dissociative anesthesia hemi anesthesia loss of sensation of one side of the body hyperesthesia when response is exaggerated on sensory stimulus and paresthesia when touch sensation is perverted so these all are the applied aspect of the tactile sensibility now the second it is the joint sense first sense of the position proximal joint tell subject to close his eyes move the limb passively in various directions and leave it in some definite position ask subject to put another limb in a similar position this is how you will check the sense of position in the joint sense for the proximal joint second sense of position for the distal joint tell subject to close eyes and extend their arms in front of the examiner examiner have to fix metacarpophalangeal joint of subject with one hand and hold index finger with another hand adjust position of index finger either upward or downward and ask subject to identify the position of finger so this is how you will check the sense of position for the distal joint in the joint sense now the next appreciation of movement tell subject to close his eyes grasp any segment of limb firmly and then move gradually into another position ask subject to say yes as soon as he recognize the movement normally movement of 10 degree can be appreciated at all joints ask if the subject can recognize the direction of the movement or not either flexion or the extension of the movement so this is how you will check the appreciation of movement in the joint sense now the third vibration sense tell subject to close his eyes 
plays vibrating tuning fork on the bony prominence for example styloid process of radius which are the other bony prominence these are the lower end of the tibia medial or lateral malleolus mastoid process olecranal process etc and tell them to say yes if he feels the vibrations so place the vibrating tuning fork on the bony prominence for example styloid process of the radius and tell the subject to say yes he he feels the vibration so this is how you have to check the vibration sense now the fourth pain sensation first superficial pain tell subject to close his eyes and extend their arms in front of the examiner arms must be exposed take a pin and lightly prick the areas of the skin according to the dermatomes and tell subject to say yes when he feels the pain this is how you have to check the superficial pain in the pain sensation now the next pressure pain tell subject to close his eyes set algometer at zero level and carefully press surface of the body according to the dermatomes you have to do this and tell subject to say yes when he feels the pressure pain this is how you have to check the pressure pain in the pain sensation now the applied aspect of the pain sensation analgesia it is the loss of pain sensation Hypoalgesia means partial loss of the pain sensation. Hyperalgesia means exaggerated pain sensation. Now the next temperature sensation. How you will check the temperature sensation? Tell subject to close his eyes and extend their arms in front of the examiner. Arms must be exposed. Take a temperature esthesiometer and feel hot and cold water in different sides. touch the hot and cold sides on the skin of the subject and ask subject about the hot and cold sensation and check whether your subject is right or wrong so this is how you have to do the temperature sensation examination now the sensory tracks i am just giving you the rough idea about the sensory tracks in the spinal cord dorsal column system spinothalamic tract and spinocerebellar tract dorsal column system we are also saying it dorsal column medial lemniscus system it is for the fine touch which includes the tactile localization and tactile discrimination vibration sensation and proprioception and this fibers runs in the gracile fasciculus and cuneate fasciculus on the dorsal side of the spinal cord next spinothalamic tract it includes the lateral spinothalamic tract and anterior or ventral spinothalamic tract lateral spinothalamic tract for the pain and temperature sensation and ventral spinothalamic tract for the crude touch and pressure sensation i am giving you just rough idea about the tract for example this is the right side and that is the left side all right now first dorsal column system inside the dorsal column system once the sensory fibers or afferent nerve fibers enter into the spinal cord it ascends on the same side till the medulla oblongata after the medulla oblongata it crosses to the opposite side and ascends and go to the different areas of the brain that is the dorsal column system all right now the next spinothalamic tract inside the spinothalamic tract whatever the sensory nerve fibers or the afferent nerve fibers which enter into the spinal cord for example this is the nerve fiber enter into the spinal cord 
it crosses to the opposite sides at the same level and then ascends and go to the different areas of the brain so this is what the difference between the spinothalamic tract and dorsal column system the same thing for the opposite side okay so this is what the difference between the two tracts for example left side of the spinal cord having the lesions so it will cut the fibers which carries the sensor information from the right side of the spinothalamic tract and on the same side of the dorsal column system and this is what the here it is the brown sequard syndrome so the brown sequard syndrome occurs in the hemisection of the spinal cord if the one side either right side or the left side of the spinal cord is damaged then there is a hemisection of the spinal cord and what will be the effect on the side of the lesion dorsal column sensations which includes the fine touch tactile localization tactile discrimination vibration and proprioceptive sensations are lost on the opposite side of the lesion pain temperature and crude touch sensations are lost because there is a cutting of the anterolateral system 